Greg Jones here for the drama. TNT loves drama. Lost a Furcata today. So beautiful, but they don't live very long. They're pretty sensitive fish for sure. The Furcatas and the Celebes can both be kind of pain sometimes. Uh, sorry to hear that, Audrey, but uh, those, those two fish, I'm telling you. Um, but anyways, welcome, welcome everyone to the Monday Night Live stream. We will be talking about the new Glowfish, the new, the new uh, Glow Corridoras, um, in addition to the new um, Glow Pristilla Tetras. Uh, Matt Gray, the yeah, early $10 Super Chat says, thanks for taking the time. Thank you, Matt Gray. Hope you had a fun time in the last stream before this one. We do stream an hour before this one, so in case two hours of me is not enough, uh, you could join up and uh, we stream for an hour for uh, members only before this. But we don't talk about fish really. Well, we kind of do, kind of don't. We just talk about anything so you're not missing any fish-related content per se. Um, for instance, today we had a good chunk of time talking about how good sitcoms used to be. But anyways, so we'll give it the, give this a few minutes for people to uh, get their notifications and stroll on in here. Now competing against Monday Night Football, so I think I need to rename the stream and get Monday Night Football into the title so all the people that are trying to watch uh, Monday Night Football live will click on my stream because they'll think it's Monday Night Football. And, uh, you know, maybe one or two will stick around. Who knows? <laughs> Who is this handsome guy? This devilishly debonair. Uh, hey, Bob, got to work and lurking. Amateur aquatic addiction. Good to see you. Uh, lady, hello, Audra. Everyone, everyone coming in now. Texas Fish Room. What's going on, Jeff? Uh, so has anyone... Seinfeld? 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 All right. Somebody likes Seinfeld. Which we didn't even mention. Strangely enough, um, has anyone else seen these glow corridors yet? I'm kind of curious. I haven't seen many people talking about them. Medcow says, "Funny, but not funny. I just came home and 15 of my 27 fricadas dead. Whew. It's uh, it that doesn't even surprise me with fricadas. Monday Night Fish Bowl live. It's gotta it's gotta say Monday Night Football for the algorithm." Hey, Bob, quick question for you. I was referred to by Zen that you might be able to hook me up with some Emerald Eye Rasboras. I'm more than happy to wait. I just don't know if it's feasible. Thank you. Well, one, never trust Zenny. That's that's your first mistake. Um, Emerald, Emerald Eye Rasboras. Let me just take a quick peek, a quick peeky poo here and see if they're on my list. Remind me to never say peeky poo again. Uh, I would appreciate it. I just got the notification from Dan's Fish. My order has shipped. All right. Uh, new fish list. Here we go. Looking for Emerald Eye Rasboras. Well, that's not what I want. Um, here it is. Rasboras. Uh, barbs. Danios. Tetras. Oh, Rasboras. Brilliant Chili Clown Rasboras, pretty pretty rare one. Emerald Eye Galaxy Kupatai. Uh, um, Redline Rummy Nose and Scissor Tail. So Emerald Eye are on my list. Um, however, I'm not sure if I'm going to be ordering. Um, you missed me by about two weeks. Uh, I put in, I, I got my fish in two weeks ago. Man, what the heck? Uh, I ordered fish two weeks ago, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to be ordering again. Uh, but, lady, if I do, on the small chance that I do, um, I have no idea how to get a hold of you. But if you want to email me at, at uh, steamfunaquatics at gmail.com, um, I will uh, let you know if I do. Just let me know in the email who you are and what you're looking for. 
Uh, hey, Bob, I was referred, referred to you by Zen that you could give me free flight to Fishtoberfest and give me a free Mabu Pleco. Again, I'm telling you. I don't know what she's doing to me. Johnny says, I hope we get some glow quarries in this import Dan is bringing back tonight. Is that the, uh, the, the Czech import? There's some pretty cool fish on that list. Everyone should hit that link from Dan's Fish, my affiliate link, and go check it out. I might get an Aki monitor this time next year or before that. Aki monitors like to be in groups, though, so keep that in mind. Waiting for YouTube to parse the words glowfish eggs and trigger an automated lawsuit warning. Got Bob to say it. Now he's in trouble. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll even say I will breed my glow corridoras. And, uh, yeah, so there's two new glowfish species, like I said earlier, if you missed it. Um, glow Corridoras, uh, although I'm not sure what species. I think it's a Aenus Corridoras, but I could be wrong. And then there's Glow Pristilla Tetras, which is not a big deal. We already have Glow Tetras, so now there's another type of Glow Tetra. And uh, let's just run down the list of Glowfish, of what we have so far. Uh, glow Barbs, Glow Danios, um, Glow... Glow tetras, um, yeah, glow sharks, glow bettas. What's next? What is next? What would be like glow garamis? Like, why don't we have that yet? Glow garam. I mean, I would never buy a glowfish anyways, but a lot of people like glowfish, and I'm I'm not gonna knock glowfish. Um, they're not, you know, they're not as bad as as uh, people think they are. And I think they're actually good for the hobby. I think glowfish bring a lot of people into the hobby. So I don't really have anything negative to say about glowfish. Um, I just think Corridora is interesting. It could be pretty neat. It could be pretty neat. How would I feel about glow rainbows? I mean, my feeling towards glowfish is pretty neutral. It doesn't matter what they make glow. Always going to be neutral. It's not my style. Like I'll, I'll never have like pink and green neon plants with a black light, like Aquascape. Like that's never going to be me. Um, did you say Globetta? Yeah, Globetta has hit the market um, two years ago, I think. Although we haven't really heard a lot about them. I don't know if they're just not that popular. Uh, I can't remember the last time I saw one in a Petco or or a PetSmart. Um, but green purple and orange glow bettas and they're priced different by color which seems weird to me like what's the ex purple um oh no i just read that wrong so it's with or without cup so they're all the same price okay okay my mistake definitely brings newbies to our hobby says the 186 element i agree um and i you could probably i don't know that'd be pure speculation but I, i'd be curious like what percent of new fish keepers are from glow fish keepers um and a lot of it's i would say a, a majority of the people buying glow fish are kids or you know parents buying it for their kids and we need more kids in this hobby right so i i think overall it's positive to the hobby you know they're not dyed they're not um they're you know um so i mean i have a much bigger problem with companies that are injecting like steroids and hormones into into fish than i do with uh making them glow um bettas are so pretty already don't need the glow wasn't sure what the thought behind it probably because bettas is another one of those fish that gets kids into the hobbies into the hobby into the hobby uh, it was my only guess but I yeah I think bettas look way better when they're not glowing like way 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 better someone is selling a glowfish setup for $50 I think it was a 29 gallon I mean that's yeah I don't I don't know like filter heater and it probably comes with a black light instead of a real light still I mean that's still a pretty good price for $50 for a gallon tank in general with a, a filter heater and everything that's a pretty good price matt is glad he made it to catch the influencer 
Jokes aside, I got a tissue culture of Bacopa. Hopefully it doesn't die. Um, I have really good luck with tissue culture plants. We could talk about that um, as well if we want to have a, a discussion on tissue culture plants. I want a glow arowana. A glow arowana. Who do I have to talk to to make it happen? I mean, I know the company that makes these that makes these glowfish. I mean, that's why I have this extensive list of glowfish. But um, Dan, I mean, Dan does too. So you could just ask him. You could ask Dan to like maybe contact these people. And uh, I mean, Dan is the one that introduced me to him. So. Um, lumpy dog, I, I, I think glow cherry shrimp would be pretty neat. I, I don't know that have a black light still, but like some neon cherry shrimp could be kind of cool. I, I, I'm just going to go out and say it. I think it could be kind of cool. Whose leg you got a hump to get a glow pleco? Hmm. I could, I could even probably tell you the name of the person that you have to, of whose leg you need to hump. Uh, UPS for living the dream. Hello. I love to insert glow effect on the guys who created it. Plus, sell these fish so they could feel what it's like to never feel natural darkness. Well, to be fair, they're not bioluminescence they're biofluorensis floor i can't say that word um right i i don't believe they're they don't give off light so they're not bioluminescence they're biofluorescent so they reflect light so they can still if you know if you turn off the lights they're not going to gl actually glow they're still going to experience darkness if that made any sense i mean it did in my head. That's all that matters. <laughs> they have glow beds in my petco, but they always, but they're always in bad shape compared to the regular ones. They seem to be very neglected. Uh, yeah, I think that varies per store, though. Um, I've seen it. There's been a shift on my petco and PetSmart. Petco, PetSmart here used to be phenomenally better than PetSmart, uh, but now, obviously, it's been so long. There's different employees, and now the petco is way better than the PetSmart in my area. So Un unfortunately with those chain stores, it really depends on the employees, not the actual store. And then, you know, corporate policies, you know, tie their hands. So where they can't even do. Uh, Curtis says I could get behind some glow cherry shrimp. I, I think it would be neat. Uh, the blue on the Fluval 3.0 will, will work for Glowfish. I try not to do the blue though. Blue is no bueno. No bueno blue. Glow stories. Glow quarries sound cool. It is something that, like, if I went to someone's house and they had a, like, a, a school of, like, a hundred glow corridoras and a black light on, I'd be like, okay, that's pretty cool. Nothing that I would ever want, but, hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, Legion says, I don't think... I think glow bettas don't look as good as normal ones. I, I agree. Like glow quarries, like to me at least that seems like it could be cool. Glow bettas, I'd I'd rather have like their like a black samurai betta is one of my favorite bettas. I don't want it to glow. I want the black and white. Um, lady says super sad, Rocky Miles. All the bettas in my petco either look super stressed and angry or very ill. Mm -hmm. Glow Blue Dream Neo Shrimp. Now you're overthinking it, Curtis, because you could just take a cherry shrimp and make it blue, right? It doesn't need to be a, a Glow Blue Dream. As soon as you make a cherry shrimp glow blue, then it's just a, a, a blue cherry shrimp. Uh, Medical 74 asks, anyone use Aquatop air pumps? Thoughts? Um, I have an older model, uh, I got it brand new, it has the dual outlets, and it was really loud for me um, compared to like a whisper. Glow ghost shrimp could be cool. Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I think ghost shrimp would probably be the best bet for this company, right? Because they don't want people breeding them. And 
that's probably why they don't make glow shrimp because people would just breed the crap out of them and and just just destroy the market but if you did it with ghost shrimp which are way harder to breed i think that would work or mono shrimp even would be another one glow coolie loach might actually be able to see them once a week yeah <sighs> I'm surprised they haven't done Glow Oscars case to you. Like, I'm really surprised. I'm sure it's just a matter of time. Like, give it 10 years and we'll see how many Glowfish we have on the market. DC Kyle makes an excellent point. How about just getting Dan's Fish uh, Betas for Shy using Steamfoot Aquatics affiliate link? Of course. And I do have to uh, give a shout out to everyone who's been using my affiliate link. Thank you so much. It's helped. Um, had some pretty decent sales the last couple days. And uh, some Scarlet Battis, Auto Sinkless, Zebra Autos, auto, more Auto Sinkless, Pencilfish, CPDs, White Clouds, Tetras, tons of Tetras, Rainbow Shiners. Which, speaking of Rainbow Shiners, we are, uh, we're going we're gonna to take a look at these Rainbow Shiners. I should have had this pulled up already. But I am terrible at what I do. Rainbow. That did not work. Shiner. So, we're going to uh, go right into our fish of the week, which is the Rainbow Shiner. If you're, if you're new here, or if you missed last week, every week I'm going to highlight a fish of the week. And this week is Rainbow Shiners. Uh, if you've never kept Rainbow Shiners, this is a native to United States fish. They are a cool water fish, and they are incredibly beautiful. Probably one of the most beautiful fish in the hobby in my experience. Now, not this one, obviously. Not that one. <laughs> We're going through some juvenile here, but if you've never seen one of these, uh, they are absolutely stunning. Um, if you check out my uh, tour video of Aquarium Co-op, probably around the 15 minute mark, maybe. Um, I'm, I, I don't know exactly, but you're, you'll see some underwater footage of these rainbow shiners. Um, I have a tour video of Danny as well and she has rainbow shiners uh that will be coming out next week so we're doing a full tour of the shed and these are just absolutely stunning amazing beautiful fish great for um, ponds outdoor tubs they can go outside year round um for i don't think you're gonna find a better looking fish for 12 dollars uh let alone like 25 dollars like how, I don't know how much money you have to get to before you see a better fish than a rainbow shiner. But I, 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 I'm telling you, the rainbow shiners look better than a lot of the saltwater fish that are out there. So there you go. Fish of the week, rainbow shiners. Buy some. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. And you can use that link right up above and, uh, you know, help me out. There you go. Fish of the week, rainbow shiners. I forgot to turn uh, my lights on. I just figured that out right now. That's all right. We can have a dark stream. Uh, Leo209 Aquatic says, Bob, what's the one pleco you would love to breed and why? And what's your go-to bottom dweller food and why? All right. So the favorite pleco that I would like to breed is just going to be my favorite pleco, which is the Salton Pleco L264, um, which... If you've never seen one, I think uh, I think we can pull one up on uh, Dan's fish here. And yeah, let's just go back real quick. That's these guys here, the L264 Salt and Pleco. I love the gray, the white tips on the fins and the black spots. I I'm telling you, this has been my favorite Pleco for about two to three years now. It used to be the L397. Uh, but I have some of these in my fish room right now, and they are just just a beautiful, beautiful pleco. And uh, the goal is to eventually, once I'm done with all this real-life nonsense, and I can get back into the fish room every day. 
Um, Johnny at Dance Fish says our Sultans are looking really nice. Yeah, so they says that they're uh, available zero. Uh, when I was there last month, uh, they had some. So I, I think they're in quarantine. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll hit this site pretty soon, right, Johnny? So yeah, that's that's my answer right there, the Sultan Pleco. And let's see, there was a two-parter, right? Let me come back. And what's your go-to bottom dweller food and why? So I'm testing out a few things. Um, Rapache has always been my favorite, but it's quite spendy and it's gotten more expensive over the last couple of years, like everything else. Um, but I, I've always loved Rapache for bottom dwelling food. Um, I'm trying out now the Hikari Massivore or the Carnivore. I don't remember which one, but one of two against the extreme one of the extreme foods and i don't remember those are the two i'm testing out right now um and and we'll see uh, but so rapashi my number one favorite uh but for prepared foods i haven't decided if i like the extreme or the massivore hikari massivore um i haven't decided which one i like better yet to be determined tb some dude gifting five Steve Fight Aquatics memberships. Thank you so much, some dude. Uh, Johnny, Dan's Fish, welcome back. Hip Hop Hillbilly, all right. Pippin Shrimp, Greg, and DC Kyle. Oh, welcome. Welcome to the Dream Team. All right. <sighs> Never heard of Blueberry Tetra at Legion Aquatics. I have to look that up. You know, um, I, a Tetra I've never heard of. I just saw it today. Um, on one of my availability list, uh, it's so rare, I don't even remember what the name of it was. Um, let me pull it up here. Very slowly pull it up here. Fire Ant Tetra. Has anyone heard of this thing? I've never heard of a Fire Ant Tetra before. Um... Let me see. We'll uh, cut back to the screen here, and I'll show you what a fire ant tetra looks like. Fairly new to the hobby, just uh, just came to the hobby five years ago, 2017. Uh, I'm trying to find their size. Let's see where it's, how big they get. Hmm. They are they are a nano fish. I don't see their size, but uh, here I'll show you what they look like. Oh, max size two centimeters. <laughs> right in plain sight. There it is, right in front of my face. Um, so definitely a nano fish, but fire ant tetra, literally the size of an ant. <laughs> um, a pretty. It's it's kind of like an ember tetra, but more orange. See, so it has the black. Um, horizontal stripe on there pretty neat out of my price range even even at my cost uh, very expensive but uh yeah i just thought this was pretty interesting i've never heard of it before new fish for me i'm gonna tell you the price on these are are gonna be probably in the 40 dollar a piece range 40 to 50 dollars depending on where you're buying them from Um, is that a legit website? I'm not sure, but it is a legit picture. So there you go. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Uh, never seen them before. If I wasn't building my own house, I would bring in a bunch of them and uh, distribute them. Blueberry Tetras are beautiful. Yeah, Blueberry Tetras are definitely nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Man. I better, oh, I gotta get something to drink. Jeff Bezos with a $5 super chat. <clears throat> I wish I could thank you, Jeff, but I just really don't like you. Um, can you get me a meeting with John from KG? He won't answer my calls. Uh, I don't think he likes you either, Jeff. There's, you're barking up the wrong tree, my friend. I, I do like the commitment. You got the, uh, <laughs> The, the logo and everything. <laughs> Is 
Texas engineer says I still like Starlights. Um, oh, such a gorgeous Pleco. I agree. Oh, I must be way behind chat. We're still talking about the Pleco? How big do salt and plecos get? About five, five inches-ish, um, give or take an inch. Nancy B in Tennessee. I like the way that just rolls off the tongue. Nancy B in Tennessee. <laughs> I have rainbow shiners in my 55-gallon native with red belly daces and rainbow darters. It's quickly becoming my favorite tank. I'm telling you, rainbow shiners with rainbow darters. You cannot possibly find a better pair of fish. Oh, that is like my dream outdoor tub. Uh, but I've not been able to find anyone that can send me rainbow darters, though. Like, I, I, I don't know how to get them. I need, I need one of my subscribers to actually go out and collect them and send them to me. What, what I'd give for a tank full of Sultan plecos, the Sultans of Swing. I hope they're the Sultans of Swing. That makes they're easy to breed, right? <laughs> Uh, glow sharks, so you can see it coming towards you. There are glow sharks. Just, uh, what are they, the red tail sharks that glow, I think? Kenny playing Be Bezos again? Jeff, Be Jeff Bezos. I'm in it to win it. I'm in it to win it. Um... Do not even think about missing my chat when I'm up at 2.30 a.m. There. I didn't miss it. <laughs> if Apple made a robotic fish, super ultra max betta fish, and they would be coming out with like a new version every three months, and everyone would be spending $1,000 on it every three months. Um, get in touch with ABC Aquatic Biotope Creations. Kenny has rainbow darters and shiners for sale. ABC Aquatic Biotope Creations. Something tells me I'm not going to remember that name. Let's just copy and paste that into a tab here, so hopefully I'll remember it later. Okay. I received a package of 18 mono shrimp in the mail today. None were DOA. I drip activated them for two and a half hours. An hour later, I put them in the tank. I noticed 10 dead bodies. So I never drip acclimate, not even shrimp. I always plop and drop. I don't know what went wrong there. It's really hard to say without knowing water parameters. Um, but I am not a drip acclimate person at all. Plop and drop like pulling off the band-aid just get it over with um i got my rainbow shiners from abc biotope creations he has a youtube channel yeah rainbow shiners i can buy wholesale really cheap uh rainbow darters are what i'm having a problem with that's that's the one i ordered darters from jonah's aquarium yeah he won't ship to me i don't know if i if i hit on his wife or girlfriend i don't know what i did but no, he won't ship me fish. <laughs> I, just, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, Manny says, I finally saw Panagaras at my local pet shop. That is awesome. Did you buy some, I hope? I hope. If not, you're missing out. You're missing out. Um, what scape style should I do in my one gallon? Should I do a planet tank with wood or um, Iwagumi style? Here's what I would do. I would take that one gallon tank. I would go up to my second floor if I had one and I would throw it out the window. And then I'd go buy myself a 10 gallon tank. <laughs> Johnny says, well, I'm off to the warehouse. Dan's bringing us 20 boxes of fish. I wish I was there to unbox that one because there's some pretty cool fish there. Um, Nancy B in Tennessee says it's illegal to collect here in Tennessee. So I paid money for fish in the creeks in my state. Yeah, it's illegal to collect here too. Yeah. I, uh, what's funny is we have the coolest liz lizards here, alligator lizards. I love them. It's illegal to me, for me to go out into my yard, pick one up and put it in a terrarium. However, it is not illegal to go and pick it up and sell it to someone out of state. It is not illegal 
to buy one out of states and have it shipped to me. Make it make sense. I don't know. Granted, I would never remove um, a wild caught out of its natural habitat because I would much rather have a bunch of lizards than all the things they're eating. And uh, if I start taking those out of the wild, I'm going to have a lot more bugs around here. And I don't want that. But, uh, you know, it just doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, I know this, the problem. I mean, one gallon it just doesn't give you a lot of room to aquascape. And, and I'm totally joking about throwing it out the window. What I would really do is maybe organize some some type of trade, <laughs> like maybe sell it on Facebook Marketplace and use that money to go buy a ten gallon. I don't know. Um, what would I do with it? Honestly, okay, I'll give you a real answer on what I would do with it. I would do no hardscape. So no rocks. Well, maybe some wood. I wouldn't do rocks. I wouldn't waste space on rocks. But I would do it on wood, and here's why. Because I would plant it with a carpeting plant, maybe dwarf hair grass, maybe micro sword, something like that. So I'd carpet the whole thing and then throw in some shrimp. And uh, maybe maybe some small pieces of wood for the shrimp to graze on. And that's it plants nope just uh some carpeting some type of carpeting plant and some wood that's it and shrimp and then i would throw it out the window no i'm just kidding <laughs> um i and i know i know that i know that you won the i know you won the tank i'm just i'm, I'm totally kidding about throwing it out the window <laughs> pencil holder yeah pens and pencil holder um mike's Imagine the cost benefit of running no heaters with native fish, depending on your local indoor temps. Yes. I hate heaters. I will always hate heaters. Um, although I, I do say I do, I do have a couple of the, of the uh, co-op heaters and I really love those. Being able to adjust the temperature of the heater outside of the tank. That's like so amazing. Like why did it take so long to have that feature? I don't, but to not have to like reach in and adjust the dial or anything like that, you just click it right there on the outside on the cord. It's fabulous. Uh, I did have some fish come down with ick, so I actually had to bust out a heater. And I had the co-op one, hooked it up, pushed the little buttons on the uh, cord, and uh, got it up to 80-some degrees. Uh, Coral says, I have pepperoni. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> uh, Hip-Hop Hillbilly says, speaking of lizards, I'm working on... A biotope active crocodile skin tank no one asked but i've fallen in love with these little dragons really <sighs> i mean don't get me wrong crocodile skinks are really cool but they are worse than plecos you literally never see them like ever i don't know I mean, they're what they're like 200 dollars. you never see them i don't know i don't know that i can do it they're cool looking though for sure but I'd rather go with like an armadillo lizard, something that's actually going to be out and active. Gr dog's growling in his growling in his sleep. One gallon. Other idea uses a Daphnia tanks. Oh man, I think I still think it's too small. Like your your parameters can swing so fast with just one gallon. It's like you could wipe out a Daphnia colony pretty quickly with one small mistake in a one gallon tank. Um, I missed the chat until now. What's the deal with glow quarries? Are they injected? No, none of the glowfish, glowfish are injected or dyed or tattooed. Um, they're basically just, they're genetically modified fish. They're taking, um, they're taking genetics out of, uh, what are they taking it out of? What, what, I'm drawing a blank here. Um, the, uh, the blobs that float around in the water while wow, i'm totally drawing a blank but they're just they're genetically modified so it doesn't hurt them they there's so far there hasn't been really any long-term um, effects associated with glowfish and uh, they can still breed uh, so yeah jellyfish thank you jellyfish and coral wow i don't know why i was spacing on jellyfish why well, i know why because <laughs> I have a terrible memory. I really wanted a cro crocodile skink because of how cool they are, but I'm thinking of going for a blue tongue. 
Well, the nice thing about blue tongues is that they're like garbage disposals. You can feed them anything. Um, quite a bit different in care and size, but yeah. It's it's the jellyfish and corals. So I moved from all tile to having carpet in rooms with tanks. Is this a reason they're running warmer? It definitely could be. Um, I mean, carpet is a much better insulator. Insulator? Than tile. <laughs> uh, Vandy says one gallon would work only for maybe shrimp. I I mean, there's some pretty small fish out there, but I, I, I couldn't enjoy it. I couldn't enjoy it. Even the smallest of smallest fish, I couldn't enjoy in a one gallon tank. Are Panagaras okay with living alone? Very social. Um, whether it's with other Pandagaras or other fish in the aquarium, they're very social fish. They need buddies, preferably Pandagaras. But I've seen Pandagaras befriend um, other catfish like Corridoras. So, Bob, are you saying you haven't watched my glowfish video? I'm offended. You are offended. Um, there are bioluminescent air plants that are genetically modified to glowfish not bioluminescence uh, but still cool stuff R there's bioluminescent plants now that's crazy to me hmm I, I don't even know what to say we got plants that are giving off their own light like <laughs> talk about energy savers Um, we found out you don't need heaters in some tanks now that there's carpet. I really don't use heaters in any tanks, whether I, I, I mean, honestly, before I moved, before I, before I built this fish room, I had a fish room in a house and I didn't heat the room at all. Like it was just whatever the house ambient temperature is. They got the gene from bioluminescent bacteria. That's crazy. Um, are you seeing my comments about a store that has Pygmaea in stock? No, but of course I see the comment of asking if I saw your comment. Um, no, I don't see it anywhere. Be right back making dinner. What are we having? I need some dinner. Um, well, hey, hey, relax. Glowfish have a slightly reduced fertility in comparison to the non-modified fish of the corresponding species. I feel like that would require some pretty extensive testing. So many variables. Hmm, interesting. I would have to see, I would have to see the research behind that before I believe that. Like, I'm not, I'm not calling you a liar or anything, it just... Like, there's so many variables that can determine, like, your spawns and your spawn rates, and I don't know. Uh, I'm getting you in trouble, buddy. What is the NR1 rainbow? Just one. Fun fact, just bought an amazing salt and plague years ago. Sorry for spamming, but you're clearly not 100%. Uh, what? I don't even know what that means. What is the NR1 rainbow? Shrimp scampi and baked potatoes? Man, I'll be right there. <laughs> that sounds like a great dinner to me. Um, I think YouTube is deleting my comments because I posted a link. Uh, yeah, it's uh, I don't allow links posted, so YouTube, it's me. Um, it's to keep all the porn bots from spamming porn sites, so you're not allowed to... Uh, I, have, I have link sharing turned off on my live streams. Only I or moderators... Um, can do links. Um, Bobby, going to Aquashella, Chicago? I am not because it is the same weekend as Fishtoberfest in Portland, and I actually got a booth in Fishtoberfest. I will be selling stuff. So, everyone, ditch Aquashella, come to Fishtoberfest, spend money on my booth, 
Um, I don't even know what I ha what, what I'll have yet, uh, but I'll have some stuff. <laughs> Did Bezos send you that product he owes you? Wait. Uh huh. Oh yes, yes. Regina, yes, 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 yes. I did, I did get that. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope you got credit for the other one. Bob, what's your favorite type of rainbow? Parkinsonite rainbow. Just a good old Parkinsonite rainbow. You know that. You're trolling. Never made them before, Bob. We'll see how they turn out. It's pretty hard to screw up shrimp, though. I'm getting away from heaters more and more. I've been moving towards cooler water fish. Thinking about gym, um, Gymno Geophagus Terra Pura. Whew, has a possibility. No heaters necessary where I live. Where is Fishtoberfest? Fishtoberfest is in Portland, Oregon. October 9th-ish. Whatever weekend that is. Um, October 8th and 9th. Saturday and Sunday. It's a two-day event. Um, Danny and I are both going. So... For everyone who loves Danny, come to uh, Portland and meet Danny. Pretty cool person. Lurking and trying to shop. All right. I uh, just saw a video of someone escaping a tiny cube tank with a huge chunk of wood, and they planted it. It was beautiful, but no room left for stocking others than a snail. I saw that same video. They put that big piece of wood, like, right in the middle, and it takes up, like, the whole tank. And I'm just thinking... What's the point of that? I don't remember whose video that was, but I was like, you, you might as well just put a piece of wood in a box. Like, you can't do anything with the water that's left in there. <sighs> I don't know. Are white clouds easy to breed? That's the rumor, Kyle, but mine have not bred in the three years that I've, that I've uh, had them at all. So, uh, but everyone else, Sheraton Airport Hotel, that is correct. That is correct. I've never been there, so I don't know anything about the hotel, but I hope they got water. <laughs> like, hopefully they have water. Um, the Demon Geos don't need a heater either. It's a little more darty and less aggressive. There you go. Was it a guy from England? I have I don't remember. I think I was just scrolling through. Um, Instagram or something. I don't remember where I saw it. Maybe it was on YouTube. Are White Clouds libraries? They're egg scatterers. Egg scatterers. Uh, wasn't there talk about glow angelfish a few years ago? What happened to that? Um, I I didn't hear anything about glow angelfish. I think there's always rumors like. People, um, there were, well, not we're, were, but people are always speculating on what's the next glowfish going to be. And maybe that's where angelfish came from, or the rumor. Uh, Regina says, my white clouds haven't spawned either going on two years. I know, I don't know what the deal is, but, man, my, my, uh, mine just don't like to get it on. Greg Jones, I put six white clouds in a 300-gallon IBC tote in my greenhouse to get around 500 fry this summer. They laid eggs every day for a month straight. Yeah. I, I got to hear these stories nonstop. Meanwhile, mine are in a 300-gallon tote, and they don't do anything. Ever. Never got any fry. Uh, I saw a video where someone got one of those 0.5-gallon betta tanks, and someone was like, you can't put a, uh, a betta fish in there. And the person just put a Malaysian trumpet snail in it. I mean, you technically you could put you could put one in a half gallons. I I would never do it, but technically. Um, so they don't eat the eggs. Yeah, they do. Uh, hey guys, hey. Can we calm down? Just calm down. Uh. My whole tub is like lined with moss and plants, so the eggs should be safe. It should be. Are lemon cichlids artificially colored? I don't know what a lemon cichlid is. Like African cichlid? I don't think so. Um, a lot of them are given steroids, so they color up faster. 
some, I don't know if it's steroids, but some type of HGH crap. My convicts need birth control? Yeah. Convicts are like fish you keep when you need fry as feeders. Uh, Mike says, my white clouds have not bred either. Indoors, warm, and cold, outdoor pond in Northern Cali, no luck. I think the next glowfish will be some type of light bear. Glowfish likes to do um, common fish. So I don't think they would ever do live bears. I don't think they would ever do a fish that's easy, right? Because um, technically you're not allowed to sell any fry. Like, you'd be breaking copyright law um, if you sell the fry. So that's why I don't think we would ever see, like, glow cherry shrimp. Because there would just be so many of them. And I think it's the same thing with live bears. When I was younger and dumber, I kept a mystery snail in a half gallon bowl for five years before it eventually died. I mean, honestly, you're probably doing better than average keeping it alive for five years. Um, crazy aquarium guys to see, buddy. I'm done working 10 hours, 16 days straight. That's too much. That's too much. Go get some sleep, buddy. Um, there is a copyright. Well, they, uh, well, copyright's not the right word. A patent. They hold the patent. So it, it is technically illegal to sell glowfish. I'll be back in green tomorrow onwards. My second bank arrive. My second set bank arrives tomorrow with new account numbers. And there was still miscellaneous direct debits going out, which are not mine. Stupid bank. <laughs> been there too usually a pretty easy uh, fix though Matt's aquatic therapy says I just discovered that I accidentally bred my emerald dwarf rasbora while I was doing a water change today it totally took me by surprise because I've never tried to breed them or do any research on it that's how you know your fish are really happy really really happy when they when they're breeding and you're not to breed them you got some happy fish there um Mickum says i don't think i honestly don't think glowfish is needed just a result of someone taking advantage of science who strictly ought to be belong in scientific testing where it all started to do some important tests i don't know i still think um glowfish are more are more of a positive on the hobby like i just think they bring so many to the hobby that it's it's probably worth it uh, i would say convicts are the rabbits of the fish world mine are what was left of the babies when i moved and added them to a new setup <laughs> oh man that's why i'll never i'll never keep convicts just for that just because of the fry Parkinsoni rainbow fish suck. Parkinsoni are ugly. Uh, I guess that's where uh, Legion Aquatics went to make a new account. Is it even worth it? Like, you just spent like 10 minutes to make that account. And all for me to spend one minute banning it. One second banning it. Um, oh, go to channel is back? Huh. Interesting. Did everybody else know this? Am I the only one that didn't know this? Uh, UPSer says, gotta go. I'll holler at you later this evening. Have a great night. Okay. My comic tank is my favorite tank to watch in my fish room because there's like a billion fry. So, <laughs> I mean, is that why? <laughs> uh, now, now you can spend another 10 minutes making another account and it'll take me all of once to ban that one. <laughs> Here, I'll even uh, I'll, I'll even unban you. I might do the most nano of nanoscape of Siri Stone scape. You could just pile in a bunch of uh, you don't even have to like scape it. You just crush up a bunch of Siri Stone and just dump it in the tank with water. 
Um, I feel like we talked about the Go To channel being back a few weeks ago. I had no idea. This news to me. It's possible. I mean, I was pretty drugged up two weeks ago. Um, there was those two live streams I did right after my surgery where I was like pretty out of it. <laughs> I was hoping no one would notice. <laughs> Um, why no blue light on a tank? Um, what I don't like the way blue light looks. Um, we also know that blue lighting is bad for reptiles. Um, so to me, it just makes sense that it might be bad for fish as well. Um, notice I said might because I haven't found any research on it, but we are now researching the blue spectrum in reptiles and it does have negative effects on their lights or on their eyes. Um, and also, um, like people that do moonlighting, right, um, it just creates algae. So, go to channel is back. I know about time. Bob, go to channel is back for creators and moderators only. Been back for months. Well, that's how long I haven't had to ban someone in so long. Like I haven't had to click the three dots in literally like years. Um, how social are glowfish? Can I keep one by itself? So you still want to go by the actual fish. So Corridoras, no, you can't keep one. Most Tetras are schooling and shoaling fish, so you can't keep one. Rainbow Shark, sure. Uh, Bettas, sure. Uh, public outreach making genetic modifications cute and realistic, like how elephants at the zoo help connect us to their plight in the wild. But do they really? Like, we don't know what's happening to elephants and rhinos. Um, I don't think I need them in a zoo to know that. I mean, I love zoo. I love going to zoos. I'm, I, you know, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Is it bad that I keep live animals but have an alligator head? It was a gift, but I may or may not have picked it. I don't, I don't, I don't think it really matters. I mean, the animal is already dead, right? <laughs> Glow coolie loaches. That would be cool AF. It would be interesting. It would be interesting if they could keep the stripes, which so far um, I haven't seen that being a possibility. Seeing them in person makes people care about them. I feel like it's very short term. Like, people go to the zoo, you learn about elephants, and as soon as you hit the parking lot, like, they're like, okay, where can I get my next, where, where can I get a Frappuccino? Where's the closest Starbucks? You know, as soon as we leave the zoo, like, like the care is just not even there. Or even if it is, it's like, what do you, what do you even do? Like, am I, am I going to, like, fly to Africa and, and help save I'm, I mean, I, I would love to be on that group of people that hunts, people that hunt endangered animals, right? Uh, that would be cool. Even if the stripes go, yeah, I don't care what color the stripes are, as long as there's still stripes, then I think it would be pretty interesting. Uh, let's try this again. Fat fingers here. Do you know if scuds and snails can be kept together? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Easily. I cannot agree with you more, Bob. I don't know about what, but <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> the zoo is literally for kids. I'm this... Uh, wait. For kids in this context. Yeah, it will... Definitely, I think it raises awareness with kids, but again, I mean, I don't think kids are any better than adults, like, once they leave the zoo. I'm, I'm sure there's a couple, like, my first trip to the zoo, I sure didn't forget about it. I mean, I fell in love with animals. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm freaking on YouTube talking about animals, so. Um, I, I just think, like, 99% of people are just forget about it as soon as they hit the parking lot, be it adults or kids. Um, it's about engaging children with these problems and making them real. 
just like we make technologies real so they can pursue them as adults. I mean, I agree. I, I'm, I'm not disagreeing. I'm just, I guess, playing devil's advocate. Glow, Longfin, Bristlenose, Plecos. I don't know. You probably still wouldn't see them. I think if we had Glow, Pleco, it would just hide even more. <laughs> Um, I would think blue is okay for fish, seeing how it's a light meant for planet tanks. Now my light only has 18 out of 128 LED bulbs. Um, I, 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 I don't know. Like, blue, the blue light spectrum, it can grow plants, but it's at a very, like, it's so insignificant on what, on its effect on plants. Um, it does grow algae. And uh, I don't know. I just I don't need it. Like I don't need it in my tanks. Glow Garami. That's what I mentioned in our, in the last stream. Glow Garami. I don't think we're too far away from having glow Garamis. <laughs> as long as we're doing fun names. What about glows line sharks? <laughs> Glow's line sharks. Glow hillbilly goldfish. I'm actually surprised that we don't have glow parrotfish yet. Um, what plants would I use in a 40 breeder with Amazon puffers, neon tetras, and corridoras? Oh my god, you can do any plant in a 40 gallon breeder. Like, that's a pretty loaded question. Like, literally any plant. Pick a plant. <laughs> um, it really would just depend on what I'm into that day. <laughs> Public outreach on which someone makes money is also made available to escape. Uh, let out natural biotopes in Brazil, other places. Are you allowed to breed and sell second hand? Mm. The Omaha, Nebraska Zoo has high school and college level classes on site for conservation, research, and more. I gotta think the interest stems from kids visiting the zoo. Am I the lone guy that likes convict parrots? Convict parrots? Probably. <laughs> the Zen Ginger says silver, yes. I say probably, Zenny says yes. Definitely yes. Parrots already kind of look like a glow color. Parrots are just, I don't know, that's another fish I'd never keep. Um, I see you doing some Amazon swords, Anubias, and Crips. Hey. Yeah, get him. Good job. You tell him. Yes, <sighs> Amazon swords and crypts. I think the only problem you might run into, um, you might run into some algae issues there. None of those are actually, well, Nubius and Crips especially aren't the fastest growing plants. Um, Amazon Swords can definitely grow fast. Uh, I would definitely get some root tabs though. Amazon Swords and Crips, you're going to need your root tabs. It wouldn't look bad. I mean, that would be a good looking tank for sure. Um, too bad I can't turn the blue off as it has light three modes. Plants, white, super light on Amazon, grows plants great though. 6,500K. Yeah, I mean, I just don't like the way the blue... I think blue washes out a lot of colors, too. Greg says, my blue dreams just arrived. All right. Parrots are big in Israel. My buddy keeps them there, and it's always urging me to get them. I'm like, nah. Yeah, blood parrots, no good. I couldn't do it. Swords are monsters when it comes to root tabs. Yeah, I just got some swords. Um, I don't remember which one, and I might order some more. Uh, Benny says, I just found out there are Glow Priscilla Tetras. Yeah, I mentioned that. That's the other new one. I mentioned it at the start of the stream here. Um, but yeah, so Glow Corridors and Glow Tetras are the new, the new Glow this year. 
Uh, they were in uh, unveiled at Interzoo or whatever the big one in Germany was. <laughs> Curtis says, are they glow blue dreams? <laughs> That's funny. I mean, as far as zoos, don't get me wrong. I am all for zoos. I love going to the zoo. Um, I was I was pretty upset. I went to the zoo last year, and they had everything closed off, um, which was, and they still charge full price. Every exhibit that you had to actually go into was closed. Only the outdoor exhibits were open, but they still charged full price. I was pretty pissed off. But I will never turn down a trip to a zoo. Any zoo, any wildlife park, any anything like that, I will always go to. And I always spend money um, in the gift shops, always. Um, what would you recommend adding to that to help with algae, some red root floaters? I mean, you could certainly do a floating plant. None of those light or none of those plants require high light, so adding in floating plants wouldn't hurt. Um, you know, you're not you don't since you don't need a ton of high light, you don't have to worry about the floating plant the light um, or you could do like a fast growing stem plant um, but I think with just those three you would probably end up with excess nutrients and you could just do you know extra water changes to get rid of it depending on you know what's already in your water <laughs> we'll come over Bob my house is a zoo not the kind of zoo I'm talking about I think <laughs> uh, as a kid like I always had dreams of working in a zoo so I've um, and the, the like we bought a zoo like i love that movie like, like anything to do with zoos i recently got phoenix lights for my racks but they look more blue compared to my other lights i've used in the past do you think aquanite lights are similar to stingrays um are the phoenix lights you got stingrays or so first of all aquanite has like a ton of different models so it, it's, it's hard to compare um stingrays are, just, are definitely more like full spectrum lighting uh, they have the red and the blues in them. Um, I don't think I will ever buy Aquanite lights again. I've had too many fail. Um, I know a lot of people have good luck with them, and, and so have I. But when you buy a, as many as I have and ha have had as as many as I have fail, like I I I can't I can't buy them anymore. Just uh, too many have gone bad. I plan to visit the zoo now. Maybe that'll be my thing. Like every time I go to one of these conventions, I'll go to the local zoo. That'd be pretty fun. Although I'm hoping to go to Florida in, in February. I feel like they probably have a lot of zoos. Hmm. Underwater World at the Mall of America is pretty cool. Never been. Imagine if McDee's Happy Meal toys were tetra fish toy and it came with a paper describing its care that would be epic make it happen captain make it happen out of all the happy meal toys i got as a kid i can honestly not remember a single one but if if i had gotten like some type of reptile or a fish or just animal in general i feel like i probably remembered it Botanical gardens are fun too. I think I've been to a botanical garden. I'm pretty sure there's one in Vancouver, Canada. And if there is, then I have been to it. And they have the little finger monkeys there. I Silver Creek, I knew you were talking about parrotfish. Not Paris the bird. Like, I just assumed you were talking about parrotfish. <laughs> Uh, Curtis says, I need a four-foot light, but I think I may wait for the co-op light. I'm pretty excited about those lights. Um, I'm, I'm, I've am i really enjoyed a lot of the new co-op products that have come out. So um, I ha actually have one of their old test lights that I was going like a year ago to test out. <laughs> so um, The new lights do look pretty sweet, though. I've, I have seen them in person. And, uh, yeah, I'm... I'm 
I, I'm digging where they're going with that light. I was at a zoo and a peacock stole some of my fries. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> uh, Sean of the Botanical Gardens here by Fort Worth Zoo are great. Uh, love the koi ponds. Uh, thanks, Steve Pot Aquatics. I almost bought the Aquanine lights for savings, but decided against them and just wasn't used to the color from the Stingray. Yeah, the Stingray is definitely full full color spectrum. And I'm, I'm not trying to, like, dig at Aquanine lights. I'm not trying to say not to buy Aquanine lights. I personally just have not had... I've probably bought about two dozen of them, and I think half of them still work over the years. So, not... Not very good long term, in my opinion. Deborah says, "Great show. I manage water changes while listening." To you, Deborah, I appreciate it. Curtis says, "I'm digging where they're going with almost all the products they are making." You know, I actually found. Um, so I, I I went to my storage, and I found a shipment that I got from Aquarium Co-op. That I had not opened yet. I have no idea what's in this box. Uh, I should have actually. I should unbox it on the live. Should I unbox it right now? I'd have to go get it. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> here's here's some stuff that was shipped for me from the co-op, and I've never even opened it. <laughs> I've no. I have no idea what's inside this box. Uh, will the co-op light ship to Canada? I have no idea, Jacob. But. You should be used to getting screwed over by now in Canada. Come on. You guys don't get anything up there. I use a night crew light. I do have I I have one night crew and it gets so flipping hot that I don't trust it, so I don't use it. Like even on the, the low setting, there's five different brightness levels. And even on the low one, like the transformer just gets stupid hot. <laughs> I don't think it's plants. I feel like if it's plants, I probably would have unboxed it right away. I have the Liger, Higer light and it only lasted nine months. Oof. Wait and do a video, do all the YouTube things. I don't know. Like, what if I open it and it's like nothing exciting and then I just film that whole thing and it's like worthless? <laughs> I feel like I want to unbox it. I kind of want to unbox it now that I talked about it. You guys can listen to this awesome music while I go get it and uh, then we'll unbox it.
Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, it is really dark. I should have turned the lights on when I was up. All right, so as we can see, not even open. Still got the prior. I don't even care if it's address because that's how old this is. I don't live there anymore. I want to, I'm trying to find like a date on here somewhere. Doesn't it normally, isn't it dated usually? Hmm. No, I don't see a date. Oh, here it is. You see that? This is almost exactly years old. September 9th, 2020. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, then cut the clip if it's good and release that as a separate video if it's worth the extra views. Um, I need a stabby stabby device. This will work. Oh, here, even better. I can stab with these. Um, so... Two years and three days. <laughs> two years and three days. Oh, wait, you can't even see the box. I gotta hold this up while I do it. Hmm, it's like Christmas. Sounds broken. I don't know. I don't think it's plants, though. Let's see. see something see some sort of this easy breeder <laughs> look at this nifty gifty this easy breeder all right now I can breed easily what is this? A this egg tumbler. I think. Yep. Egg tumbler. Okay. Towel. 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 Uh, four <laughs> co-op towels, a Zis egg tumbler, and a Zis premium box breeder. Now, it does say that I can return these if I was within the 30 days. Just uh, $105 sitting in that box for two years. No biggie. Uh, I got towels. <laughs> apparently i really wanted some towels i don't know i had to get that i had i think what i had to, i had to get a hundred dollars for the free shipping i will spend like fifty dollars on products just to save eight dollars and get free shipping well there we go uh, do they even still sell this stuff on the website i have no idea <laughs> You could have been using those towels the last two years. I would have lost these by now. So now I can use them until I lose them. Uh, I bet Candy will take them back. <laughs> uh, you know, the funny thing is, is that I'm like, I was just thinking the other day, like, where are my co-op towels? I know I have them somewhere. I know I got some co-op towels at some point. Hmm. Look at that towel. I still can't lift my arm up all the way. Ugh. Oh, ah, there we go. Equal up towel. 
Here we go. Hit the like, also a giveaway? What are you giving away? Hmm. It's so soft on my skin. So soft. It's probably like muting my microphone there. Um, I love one of those towels. The last during my last water change, I had to use my Turby hair wrap to wipe up water in a pinch. I don't even know what a Turby hair wrap is, but you should do a giveaway. Boy, everyone wants me to give away my own money. You should do a giveaway. How about that? You should do a giveaway. I had eardrums. You had. Um, nothing against any store that utilizes it, but most free shipping is a scam, a ripoff. I, I got free shipping on my website. Uh, the only reason I have free shipping is because everyone else has it. Like, because of Amazon. Where's Jeff Bezos now, you butthole? And closed caption changes co-op towel to equal up towel? Equal up towel. Uh, it would be funny if they were like sold out of towels. Towel. And I have them all right here. I seriously don't know why I got four towels. Eight dollars. Ooh, who's the picture of? Hmm. Can we set, can we tell who's in the thumbnail just by the hand? I can't. I'm curious if they even still have this. Uh... Oh, yep. Yeah. Is this premium breeder box? Is this egg tumbler? They... I don't know why I bought an egg tumbler. I've never used one. I, don't... I definitely use breeder boxes, though. I do love breeder boxes. Who's messaging me right now? Oh, Zenny. Zenny is messaging me. Um, I just got the co-op towel and could use a couple more. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, now it's mine. Now you can't have it. I'm going to lick them all so you guys can't have them. Oh. I'm going to take this towel to the gym tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to do with those three. We'll figure out a giveaway. I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, there's some logistics that got to be worked out first, like... Just like what to give away, but we'll do a giveaway. I think I, I think I said I was going to do a giveaway like a month ago and then forgot about it. So uh, we'll, we'll put Ginger Grumble on the task here of uh, reminding me to do a giveaway for next week. Can you table Cory eggs? Can you table tumble? Can you tumble Cory eggs? Um, I don't think it's necessary. I, I, tumbling is more for like mouth brooders. So you strip your mouth. And then you put them in an egg tumbler. Um, have you tried fluval breeder boxes that pump water in from the tank? Yes, I've got a ton of those. Those were on... I actually made a lot of money on those. Um, I think it was about a year and a half ago. Those were... So it used to be... Fluval bought them out. Uh, so there was a previous company... And uh, when Fluval bought them out, they had like a super sale. They were like $3 on Amazon just to like get them out so they can get the new uh, Fluval branding on it. And I got like 20 of them. They had it limited to where you can only buy like three at that special price. I logged in with my account. I logged in with my mom's account. I had my friends log in and buy them. I mean, I got like... I think I got like 20 of them. I gave some to Danny. Like I had so many, I didn't even know what to do with. And I, I'm, I still have like a box that's shipped to me that I haven't opened because I know there's six of them in it. So yeah, I, def, I definitely know about those breeder boxes. The new viral challenge, buy as many co-op towels as you can. Um, can I, can I have somebody make a comforter, like some bedding out of the co-op towels? Well, that would be nice. I, I want the co-op sweats. Like I am so pissed that I do not have the co-op sweats. You got, you have no idea how angry I am about that. And I am not an angry person at all. One love, right? 
I don't get angry about nothing. But I am angry. That I don't. I don't get angry about nothing. But I am angry that I don't have the co-op sweats. Um, Bob, you should be happy. I made two X accounts. Oh, I didn't even notice the second one. Uh, awesome. Please mod me. <laughs> yeah, right. I can't trust you Canadians. <laughs> Two extra subscribers. All right. Subscribers only matter, though, if they actually watch your content. So you got to watch all my videos on all three accounts. Joke's on you, buddy. You just wasted a third of your life. Trade you co-op sweats for a co-op red hat? No, uh, because chances are your co-op sweats won't fit me. Like, I don't know how big you are, but I would wager that I'm probably fatter. Just by looking at you in your videos. <laughs> oh yeah. Keep bragging, Amy. Keep bragging. The sweats are super comfy. <sighs> it's the only thing I don't have is the sweats. The new co-op hat is cool. I agree. I agree. The new co-op hat is cool. Hey. I feel like I should be like getting paid to do this, but... There, we got the, the hat, the towel. I could really, like... I got the co-op auto-feeder over there. Um, I don't think I have any more co-op stuff around here. Oh, this is what I need. Okay. I need a co-op neck pillow. Oh, yeah. How about, oh, I can, I can make a co-op neck pillow right now with with all these towels i have why would i buy four towels it don't make any sense okay i now have my own co-op neck pillow mm. Okay. Uh, never mind, I can actually stay. All right. Order more towels and make a quilt. You know, I could get used to this neck pillow while I'm streaming. Hmm. Matt says that's my secret. I'm always angry. <laughs> I wish I would make a black snap back hat. Um, I can't get on board with snap back. I hate snap back. Yeah, this live stream is sponsored by not the co-op, not the co-op. Um, I talked to Corey about making a co-op product starter pack. <laughs> Anyone coming now is wondering what? Well, we are on the weird part of the stream here. Let's be for an hour number two. Really, anything can happen at this point. Next support is important. You know, I got one of these neck pillows for my for after my surgery. Surgery, because I I have I have to lay on my sides. Like I cannot sleep on my back. But after my surgery, I was forced to sleep on my back. So I was like, I'll try one of these neck pillows. And now I seriously wear this thing everywhere. Like <laughs> I was driving my truck the other day, and I had my neck pillow on, and I'm just like, oh, this is fantastic. Why did it take me so long to buy a neck pillow? I'm already like excited for my for my next flight. And I used to see those people on the flight with the neck pillows and I'm like you need a neck pillow for and now I'm just like oh that's why <laughs> boy I've been missing out this whole time and this thing was only like 12 bucks like so much comfort <laughs> I'm kind of curious what this is right here like what is that a reflection of I don't I don't know what it's reflecting What is it the uh, steam thought after after dark or after like I don't know one of those shows that you see on a on a on a hotel TV at like one in the morning. Anyways, I want to talk about that aquarium co-op over ear headphones. Why does my phone hate you? I don't know. Uh, watching on replay, the chain stores around me all have glow bettas. 
Interesting. Um, is that a light switch? Oh, you know what? You're probably right. <laughs> yep, you're right. Of course. <sighs> Just a light switch. There, now it's a little brighter in here. Steamfought After Dark is all Sasquatch. So not sure if you've seen the members stream, but I was told that my truck should be done at the end of this week, but I'll be in Colorado. It would be done when I'm gone. It's been, <laughs> been 26 weeks. Hey, at least you finally get it back. You have something to look forward to when you go home, right? Yes, this is the weird part. Earlier, we were discussing glow elephants. <laughs> uh, Bob, blink twice if Corey is holding you hostage and making you show off the merch. How about a wink? Do I get If I wink, do I got to do it four times? I don't know. Uh, listen to any more Sasquatch Chronicles or watch Expedition Bigfoot. Not yet. Not yet. Paul says, I'm super tired tonight. Super tired tonight. Hmm. To me, to be fair, if you saw that on my live stream software, it legit looks like a reflection. So, you know. Just saying. If it's actually done, yeah. If. That's pretty neat, though. Um, sucks to have, like, a total... Driving around in a total truck, but, you know. <laughs> Try not to uh, run any lights this time, huh? How about that? Hopefully, you learned your lesson. club shirts right now and wondering how I got stuck with them I need more club shirts I want to go to I want I want to go to like club events I don't want to go to like big trade shows I want to go to like small club events with like auctions and speakers and things like that I think I have a similar light it looked awfully familiar never watched Sasquatch Chronicles that's good but it sounds like a riot always love so Expedition Bigfoot was a much must watch, a must watch. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, hold on. I got. I got to. Uh... Hmm. Interesting. Kids are down, and now I'm here. Welcome, Brian. Can't believe I've been watching Bob's video for two years. Just haven't started commenting in until nine ago two years two weird two years you've wasted your life think about these other fools that have been watching since like 2017 oh there's no hope for them aquarium co-op crocs <laughs> i didn't run the stop sign i came to we stop i just left early <laughs> that'll happen I was watching an old stream and you were saying how gross cheesecake sounded. Have you tried it yet? No. That's gross. Why would I want cake with cheese in it? Like those two things just don't mix. Like I don't get it. I don't I don't I don't get it. Like if you want to put cheese in your cake, that's fine. Call me old fashioned. I like chocolate in my cake, not cheese. So No. I I will never try cheesecake. That just sounds disgusting. Ugh. It's bad enough y'all made me try pie. Jeez. I don't think I would ever do like a um a subscriber challenge for cheesecake. Uh like I did with pie. At least pie has fruit in it. Fruit, your fruit cakes. Yeah, you. See, Mr. Penguin, my new best friend, says I also dislike cheesecake. If it, it doesn't taste like cheese, then why put cheese in it? 
That's like mushrooms. Why mushrooms don't taste like anything? Why are you putting mushrooms and stuff? It's a waste of time. Uh, doesn't like pie or cheesecake. He's hopeless. Holy carp. It might drop below 70 degrees tonight in Texas. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I hope so. I cannot wait for Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. It tastes like cream cheese. That's even more disgusting. Like cream cheese is one of the worst things ever invented. Cream cheese is disgusting. Legion Aquatics says, I gotta go for now. Hi, Bob. I picked up 15 tenorless rainbows today. So stoked. Dropped them in a 20 long. Where'd you get them? That's awesome. Uh, you don't really see those guys very often. It's like 60 here. Yeah, it's. I gotta clear out all my tubs tomorrow because we're supposed to get a cold snap here. And I don't want any of my rainbows. So I don't know where I'm going to put them. I was hoping I could make them or... The weather would hold out until Fishtoberfest, and then I could just bag them all up and sell all my rainbows at Fishtoberfest. Uh, but that's that's on my to-do list tomorrow, is to empty out my tubs and get my rainbows inside, because it's they won't make it past this week if I leave them out there. Um, 209 Control. Cheesecake is gross. My dad always says, how can you judge it until you try it? It's very easy, okay? Because, look, it, it's very easy to rebut that argument. Because then you say, well, go eat some dog poop, right? You don't know it's gross until you eat it. So how many of you have eaten dog poop? And if you haven't, go try it. Go try some dog poop, and I'll go try some cheesecake. You don't know dog poop? Tastes bad until you try it. San Diego summer is September through November. Um, I got the tennis from the LFS I work out. They've been here for like three weeks with no sales, so I took the whole school. Awesome. Yeah, that's probably not a very smart fish for an LFS to bring in. That's I feel like that's very a very small clientele would pay that money for that fish, I feel like. I don't know. Online store, I would sell those all the time. An actual LFS, I don't think I would bring them in. Poop is not an edible substance. Yes, it is. You can literally eat poop. What do you mean it's not an ed edible substance? There's people that eat glass. I mean, you ever see those glass eaters? Just saying. So if I've eaten dog food dog I'm not saying dog food I've eaten dog food everyone's eating dog food I'm saying dog poop you can't know it's bad until you try it and and if your whole edible substance if, if that's your argument then let me go put some milk out in the sunlight for a month and then try that and let me know how it tastes milk is edible just saying <laughs> Gina Flange says, I deal with fruit cakes every day. I don't see the point of eating one. Well, have you ever tried to eat one? <laughs> Xanadudu says, My Roddy eats poop all the time. There you go. It's completely edible. Uh, I'm sorry, but girls one cup had to do it. Well, see, at least that was just chocolate pudding. You know? No, I don't eat dog poop because I know what it's. I know that I'm not gonna like it, just like I know that I won't like cheesecake. I know. I am. I am very in tune with all of my five senses. And if we want to get technical, all seven of them. But for the layman, five. I've had bad milk once in my life, never again. I sniff the milk even if I break the seal. That's smart. I've gotten bad milk from the like 
I've gone to the grocery store, bought milk, brought it home, and it was bad. I dared my friend to eat a piece of dog food if I ate a shrimp pellet. He did it, so I did it. Yeah, I've eaten, uh, like, uh, I've eaten dog food. I've, e I've eaten, I don't know what brand, but I've eaten the, the bacon strips. I've eaten those. Um, of course, I've eaten fish food on the live stream many times. Well, by many times, probably like three times. Um, let's go back to the everyone has eaten dog food comment. Um, what? What? <laughs> I mean, I I feel like at some point, someone's, you know, a lot of people have tried um, crazy stuff like that. <laughs> you, what? Are you saying you haven't tried it, Amy? Like, what kind of life are you living? Not a, It doesn't sound like you're living a very adventurous life if you haven't eaten dog food. <laughs> Uh, that's what I love about this stream. You just never know where the conversation is going to go. So much better than the Oscars. <laughs> well, I'm not slapping anyone. Um, but I, I would. If it, if it gets me the same uh, headlines that the the other slap got, why not? <laughs> oh my gosh, a fish comment. A fi See... To all the people that are going to rewatch this and complain about not talking about fish, come join the stream. All right? The viewers drive the show here. We talk about whatever you all want to talk about. Right now, the viewers want to talk about gross stuff. I, I'm just reading comments. That's all I'm doing. But we got a fish comment, so that's pretty excellent. I set up a new 75 gallon tank, sent you an email with a short video of my active volcano fish tank. I will look at that right now. Hey, you're in Wenatchee? I love that area. I have rafted the Wenatchee River probably a hundred times. All right, let's, let me take a look at this. Some nice plants. You know what? Freaking delivery drivers, man. Uh, oh, I probably shouldn't be playing the audio of this video. I can dig this tank, though. Got a volcano. Got some good-looking plants. Some corridoras. Some rainbow fish. All right. I can't show it, but uh, there you go. I like it. Good job. Uh, my dad is also the guy who brought home onion rings when we were kids and while we were eating them told us it was squid squid when bob's dogs bark i get to work with my dog on not barking at the tv there you go i was doing it just for you just for you uh, i'm sorry it's more than an hour and a half it's past the fish portion of the show get it together people get it together I've eaten rattlesnake before. I bet a lot of people have, like more than you think. I'm like 49% close to learning a backflip. That's that's pretty good. So you can jump up in the air. Nice. <laughs> have we talked about giraffes yet? Not this. Not this stream. 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 My cat is freaking out watching my phone right now. Your cat watches your phone. Fish comet? We don't do that around here. Get them. Yeah, get them. 
Get him. Oh, you can't get me because there's a dog gate there. Sucka. Okay, anyways. Anyways. Like, uh, like Zen says, get it together, people. That tank was a lot of fun to build. The volcano took a long time. Giraffe cake. I bet giraffe tastes pretty good. I bet it's a very lean meat. Not a lot of fat on giraffes. Need to talk to Dwight Schrute about getting some rare exotic meats around here. Even though it'll all just be goat meat. I don't know. I feel like I really just want this around my neck. I don't know why. Oof. There we go. Mm -hmm. Were those, uh... What do we got here? You know what I'll do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to share this with the world, Jeff. <clears throat> For anyone who wants to take a peek at the volcano tank, I bet giraffe is like venison. I mean, it, that's a pretty safe bet. I would try it. Like, I wouldn't go out and kill a giraffe and gut it, but like if someone else did it. Dwight would give me some sweet paintball lessons. I think I could teach Dwight a few things about paintball. Make him says I'm doing a... Uh, I'm pretty close to doing a straight fall into bed. Am I putting you to sleep? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> Matt says, work and lurk is over. Clocking off for the day. Thanks, Matt, for hanging out. I appreciate it. As always, thanks for stopping by. Lady says, always love the office. There's a place here called Crazy Burger that has exotic meat burgers, kangaroo, rattlesnake, camel. I bet kangaroo is extremely lean. Those dudes are like all muscle. Whew. I ate Chevelle in Paris. You ate a car? Um, I did not realize it was horse meat. That's horse? I had no idea. The only thing I could read on the menu, it said steak next to it, and it was all in French. Oh, como allez-vous? Chevelle. Hmm. Horse meat. That's kind of weird. Uh, holy smokes. I has a female rusty cichlid holding and added a male into the tank in hopes he would fertilize them, but she ate them. Oops. Will they eventually pair up seeing how they are the only two of the same type? I mean, just getting a male and female doesn't guarantee that they're going to spawn. Um, it's kind of weird that she was holding without a male in the tank to begin with. Um, I don't think I've ever had a lone female um, drop eggs. Um, well, ho or mouth brood. Mouth brooders uh, hold eggs without a male. That's kind of weird. Um, quick, your house is on sale, uh, on fire. You can only save one guitar, red. Hands down, red. This sounds way better. I mean, the black, the, the, uh, the black one is, it's a decent guitar, but the red one just sounds way better. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's almost 4 a.m. here. 4 a.m. Nobody cares, but my discus are doing great and high pitch. They eat from my hands. Pretty cute little guys. I care. Jeez. Dang. See, Lady Cares too. That's wonderful, Regina Phalanges. They are so lucky to have such a great fish keeper as their mom. Eating horse. I don't know. What do you think a donkey tastes like? Sometimes I wonder. Uh, mine were great for years at 7.6. Never had any issues with parameters and them. Um, for sure, what? He's a mountain man? What? Oh, wait. If you were raising your baby giraffes and had to put one down for like a broken leg or a neck or something, would you eat it? Uh, yeah, why would you waste all that meat? That seems crazy. 
Now I feel guilty saying no one cares. Well, you should feel guilty. I mean, talk. That's don't be such a pessimistic. Uh, pes don't be such a pessimistic. <laughs> don't be such a pessimist. <laughs> Jeez, we care about your Regina Phalanges. Donkey probably tastes like beef that you wiped your butt with. <laughs> okay, that's pretty descriptive. All right. I had some horse when I was overseas in the Navy. It's always red in the middle. Can't cook it all the way through. Hmm. Uh, Matt says, went to PetSmart to get airline tubing and water chemicals. Went home with plants and chemicals. Forgot the tubing. I do that every single time. Every time I go somewhere for something, I always forget why. I always forget the product that I went for. Um, some people are weird about eating pets. Didn't know if it mattered to you. Well, I think that's a little different. Mm, I don't know. I don't know that I would. I, I don't know. Like, if it was something I bonded with, I probably couldn't eat it. You're right. You're right. Like, I don't eat my dogs when they die. So, all right. All right. Bob, let's try all the meats except human that's where you draw the line. I mean, I I heard that it's pretty lean too. Although, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> well, well, okay, I'm not even gonna go that route. <laughs> that was getting morbid very fast in my mind. I'm just gonna move on. Uh, so anyways, um, fish and aquariums are really neat. Uh, you should have some if you don't. I'm one of those people, as an engineer, I feel bad eating any beef, pork, or chicken products. I'm not a vegan, but I try at least to opt for humanity, humanely slaughtered products. So, like, hunting, you hunt your own. Doesn't get more humane than that. But you would... But would you eat other people's dogs? That's a good point. You are very poignant to Zen. Very poignant. Poignant. I'm not lean at all. That's what, I was, that's what I was thinking. Like, it depends on the origin of the person. Like, America or American Samoan, probably not. That's That meat's probably too fatty for me. <laughs> uh, would I eat a maggot to survive? Yeah. Uh, I like to watch Bear, Bear Grylls is a joke, though. Like, seriously, a giant joke. Uh, he, just, oh, he is the worst. Why aren't you, you should be watching Les Stroud, not Bear Grylls. I mean, the guy's got, the guy's been busted faking so many of his, oh, don't even get me started on that, dude. Anyways, nope, no dog or cat eating, just talked about the efficacy with the family. I'm sorry. It's immoral. In Ecuador, we eat guinea pig. I think a lot of people eat guinea pigs. Um, and you're in Ecuador. I think I knew that, but I think I forgot. I'll have to remember that. Deep fried chihuahua with salt. Uh, I don't know about maggots. Some of those big grubs from Weird Eats, I'd give them a go. Like, I would eat my roaches, my cockroaches, for sure. Like, without a doubt. Um, Izzy, who said... So literally in one of Bear Grylls' videos, you can see where he's like, I'm out in the wild, blah, 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 surviving. And like in way back in the background, you can literally see the highway where cars are going back and forth. Um, he's been busted staying in hotels when he's supposed to be out on these grand adventures. Uh, he's been busted ordering pizza when again when he's out in the uh, survival scenarios like... I don't know how this guy is still, like, he's a flim-flam man. Uh, they're okay, but won't eat again. There are capsules filled with little balls. They come to the surface after some time. Wait, what? Uh, she was a standard 20 with two convict fry. I noticed she had eggs, unless she picked up a bit of root tabs, but cheap off Amazon. Hmm. Fried grasshopper dipped in molasses. I don't think I've ever eaten anything that was dipped in molasses. Probably the weirdest thing I've eaten. <laughs> uh, 
The Indiana Jones Temple of Dune scene with the monkey brains. What about like the eyeballs that are, are like floating around in the soup? <laughs> um, he takes celebrities out now. Just, I don't know. Les Stroud is legit. AJ, he absolutely is. He actually trains like the Canadian military. Like, nobody is calling Bear Grylls to train. Like, <laughs> so I have two rainbows that are sparring for the past few days, and I'm starting to see damage on one of the dorsal fin. Of, I'm starting to see damage on the dorsal fins. Will they stop, or should I separate them? I would, I would let them work it out. Whatever their beef is, I'd let them work it out. Les is doing the Bigfoot stuff now. He says he's he had he says he had mind speak. Sashwath Chronicles had a good interview a few years back. Um, yeah, I totally support Les Stroud. I'm totally a consumer of domestic farm animal meat and seafood, but even at that, it's pretty limited. Beef, chicken, pork, turkey, some fish, crab, shrimp. I'm so vanilla. Flimp lamb. <laughs> I used to live in Ecuador. Now I live in Indiana. Yep. Went from tall mountains to flat cornfields. Oh, you're not in Ecuador anymore. I need some South American friends. I get my I get my passport next week. I need to go. I need to. I need to go. I need to go some places. Oh. What exactly is flim flam? <laughs> You've never heard of like a flim flam man? It's like people that sell snake oil, right? Uh. Vinny, Van, Vanny is back. Whew. Uh, I'm half Ecuadorian and American. I used to live there, but now I live in Indiana. Um, I think I knew that too. To be honest, I think I think we've gone over this before. Um, ate a trigger fish bull before, delicious, but I felt kind of guilty after. Guilty after. Um, yeah, it's like all the 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 common plecos that people eat. I don't know that I can eat a common pleco. It just does not look like it would be very good. Like I love I love fish, but a common pleco, I don't know. I'd probably try it though. I, uh, no, I'd probably definitely try it. I don't think I would like it, though. It, and it's probably better than what I imagined, but still, I don't know. Not not digging the common pleco. Uh, Big Shrimp said, I tried guinea pig, definitely not for me, like a greasy squirrel. You never heard of Flim Flam before? Jeez. Y'all are so just uncultured. <laughs> like, what's going on here? Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad that I actually know something that other people didn't know. Usually, it's the other way around. Usually, I'm like, "What is that?" Like Viola. If I still lived in Ecuador and and a paid boy and paid a trip for you. If I still lived in Ecuador and paid for you and I to collect wild fish, would you go? Even though you've never met me in person, I would take that chance. If it was just like a random comment from someone I've never heard for on a random video of mine, I'd be like, mm, no. But someone that's becoming like a regular on a live stream, sure, you could be a psycho, but like you can't hold me for ransom. I'm I don't have any money, so like that's not gonna do you any good. Uh, like, and what else is there? Like, a chainsaw murder me in the hills of Ecuador? Okay, there's worse ways to go. Whatever. At least I gotta travel. Um, Matthew, how old are you again? Don't you know you're never supposed to ask a lady how old she is? Jeez, Zenny, you should know that. Uh, uh neither am I, Paul McCarthy. I barely get got through dinner. Curtis says, also, I was introduced to Bob Vance from Vance Refrigeration today on The Office. Was pretty funny. What do you do for work, Bob? <laughs> what do you do for work? 
What line of work are you in, Bob? <laughs> Bob, Vance Refrigeration. Bob, Vance Refrigeration. Whoa, it's getting really dark in here. It's getting spooky. Um, Bob might not want to go off into the woods with boys. Just saying. Um, he calls me a lady. I'm glad you laughed at that. <laughs> See? You got a sense of humor, my friend, so I think we'll do just fine. <laughs> Bob will try cheesecake when John tries Oscar filet. No, because I bet Oscar's... I'm not going to say that Oscar's tastes good, but I feel like they'd be like McDonald's good. Like, it's 2 a.m., you're super hungry, you've been binge drinking all night, you need something greasy... Like, I re I'm not a drinker anymore, but I remember those days. I bet that's when an Oscar would taste good. I'm going to die again. Gym trainer killed me tonight. I'm telling you, I'm taking this towel to the gym tomorrow. For sure. Popular aquatic YouTuber caught at border smuggling banned fish. I would totally do it. Like, just that, just the exposure from getting caught would be a good boost to the channel. Instead of having a hundred people here, we could have like a thousand people here just from that, just from that kind of exposure. Boy, we, we went from like 170 to 100 when we started this conversation. <laughs> uh, I know what the people want and I give it to them. <laughs> That was Taco Bell for me Saturday night. Oh, it was the chicken nuggies for me. The, I would get chicken nuggets and just the regular dollar hamburger. Oh, so gross. Uh, I was pretty sure I remembered Matthew. I think that's the other. I think not. I don't think that's Matt. I think that's Matthew. I'm I'm pretty sure Matt is of legal age. Oh, he is 15. I can't go to the woods with a 15-year-old. What are you doing to me, Matt? Jeez. Zen, I don't know why I doubt you. You can just run my life. Whatever you say. Zen's in charge now. Zen, he's always right. You were you're looking out for me, and I busted your balls. Curtis says, I hate fast food. So do I. It is literally the worst. I had, I'm ashamed to admit it, but I had fast food last Friday and I immediately regretted it. I didn't even finish it. It was so gross. It's a good thing I really need to get back in shape. My fitness level has gone downhill. Downhill. All right, folks, that's going to do it. Things are really getting weird. We've lost like 100 people in the last 20 minutes. So I think it's time to get it. Get it. I'm throwing in the towel. Get it. I don't know. Things are getting real dumb around here. So uh, anyways, thanks everyone for coming out and hanging out and uh, shooting the breeze, laughing at my stupid jokes. I appreciate it. And uh, we will be back here, of course, uh, next next Monday, 5 p.m. Uh, video coming out this week of the of uh, Danny's Fish Shed. So look forward to that. Turn your notifications on. And uh, otherwise, I hope you all have a great week. And I will see you all in a week. Right? Right. <laughs>